1975, I was uh, just married to my first wife. And for entertainment, we didn't have a whole lot of money. So I would take Jane to Edmonton International Speedway. Uh, when you drive in, it's just a big open field and they had people that would guide you into parking rows and then you would go into the venue and watch the races and then you'd come out. Well, this one Saturday, it was the end of the races, we came out of the venue and got into our cars and everything devolves into a big mass of cars heading for the exit. So we all ended up getting bumper to bumper in a, a gigantic circular ball of cars trying to get out of this one narrow exit. Two cars ahead of me, I see smoke pouring from this car. Now remember it's hot, it's summer, we're, uh, st we're stationary, okay? So this is the most heat stress uh, internal combustion engine can be under is motionless so there's very little air going through the uh, radiator and the engine is running putting out tons and tons of heat so when I saw this smoke pouring from this engine compartment I kind of knew what was going to happen next and sure enough big flames burst out of this uh, uh, engine compartment of the car two cars ahead of me and when you think about it, it must have been a fuel leak and the guy never noticed it because he was always moving and the little drips of fuel would land on the road and he'd keep on going and there was enough airflow to just blow away the fuel. Well, he's parked there on grass in a grassy field and the dripping fuel must have built up enough vapors that they eventually reached the uh, exhaust manifold and burst into flames. So <laughs> that car bailed out, everybody's pouring out of the doors and everyone around is trying to get away from this guy but they can't because there's like six inches of space between your bumper and the next guy's bumper. It took probably a good 10 minutes before we could put at least a car length between us and that other car. The entire car burnt up in the time it took us to make that space around it and then everybody's driving around it. It was just a, a crazy bunch of people. Like they're all drunk by the end of the races and doing crazy, stupid things. Then we pulled out. We got onto the road finally. Of course, it's bumper to bumper on the road. And uh, again, about uh, three cars ahead of us or so, there's uh, a bunch of bullies, drunk bullies, in a convertible, and they're uh, sitting on the top of the back seat and all over the car <clears throat> and that what they would do is they'd get out and they would harass people around them so the guy in front of them the driver in front he got out of his car and ran to the back of the bully's car to uh, write down their license plate number and call the cops but the cops couldn't even have got, come in but then they just started to beat this guy up so always a big fight and craziness at the uh, when there's a big crowd and you're all drunk and there's no uh, security people the crowd just goes into a bunch of idiots anyway that was uh, one crazy moment at Speedway